Uh, they would say, w w what's the fastest way to make a, s a small fortune in the rocket industry? And the, and the punchline is, you start with a large one. So, you know, it was, it was a, a tough going for a while. Our first three launches failed. Fortunately, the fourth one succeeded. If the fourth one had not succeeded, uh, SpaceX would not exist. That was Elon Musk back in June. Fast forward to today, SpaceX could be getting a major valuation boost. The company initiating discussions about selling insider shares at a price that values it at $175 billion or more, according to our reporting. The tender offer could range from $500 million to $750, with shares offered at about $95 apiece. This coming amid other positive developments, as its Starlink system clears months of U.S. military testing in the Arctic. Let's get to the team coverage at Blood Bowen, San Francisco. Katie Lyons in D.C. Ed, you have lead the reporting on this. What are you hearing? Yeah, look, it's a pretty big jump from a tender that only just happened in the summer where the share price was in the low 80s. As a reminder to the audience, a tender is where employees and insiders can sell shares to outside investors. The price is set between the CEO or the, the CFO or COO of SpaceX and then the lead investor on that round. But $175 billion would value SpaceX within the top 75 companies globally if you're going to give a proxy against publicly traded companies. And a lot of people ask, well, what's it based on? And as you know, John, we've reported a little bit about some of the financials, the expectation that next year there's going to be a really big jump in revenue from about $9 billion in 23 to $15 billion in 24, where Starlink becomes the majority of revenue as opposed to the business of launching things into orbit. Well, let's get to Starlink. Katie, I mentioned some positive developments. What are they? Well, after nine months of tests that concluded in June, John, Starlink, which of course is this satellite system that operates under the SpaceX umbrella, has passed U.S. Air Force tests in the Arctic. An Air Force research official essentially saying it found Starlink to be a reliable and high-performance communication system in the Arctic. Now, the Arctic is difficult for military communications, John, because it is a pretty rough climate. And through these tests, uh, Starlink equipment was essentially put through uh, high winds and very cold temperatures and was found to perform well. This potentially could open the door to SpaceX getting Pentagon contracts in the Arctic region, a region, of course, which is very important competition-wise when it comes to the uh, China and Russia, which are both looking to exercise more influence in that region specifically. And this could just be another addition to the SpaceX portfolio of business it does with the Pentagon, knowing, John, that Starlink already uh, is very much involved in Pentagon business. There's been an undisclosed contract between the Pentagon and uh, SpaceX for the Starlink operations uh, with the Ukraine military. And this could potentially just see this relationship deepen and even further. Ed, one final question for you, sir. There is yeah. another way to exit IPO. What's going on? Yeah. Well, th this is why I think there's such an insatiable demand to get into this tender offer, right? It's not a primary offer where SpaceX issues new equity, but it is a mechanism or last chance for investors that aren't already on the cap table to get in ahead of a potential Starlink IPO or spin-off. We've reported that that could happen as soon as the end of 24, beginning of 25. And we know that behind the scenes, some of the incorporation and legal work to put Starlink as a separate entity is underway. So it's kind of last chance saloon. If you want to get in, get in now um, and wait for the big IPO spin-off that could come in a couple of years' time.